Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at adding some animation to some of the elements on your Power BI reports. So I'll be looking at this functionality here. So when you refresh a report and it renders, you can see that these lines here unveil themselves from left to right and from top to bottom down the page. Okay, so why is it that you would want to add some animation to your Power BI reports? Well, there's two reasons. The first reason is to add a little bit of pizzazz, for want of a better word. Now, I'm not a fan of adding lots of images and lots of colors and items to a report just for the sake of it. That's a bad idea. However, sometimes you do want to add a little bit of um, extra functionality that makes the report look a little bit more polished, a little bit more professional, because first impressions certainly do count and it makes people want to come back and look at the report again or look at other reports that you've created. The second is to draw attention to specific areas of a report. So you can use movement strategically to draw the eye to a specific area of the report, a specific card or, or figure or visualization. Now, what I've done here isn't probably not the best use of this, However, I just wanted to talk you through the process of creating these animations and then you can let your imagination, your creativity run wild and, and use it in your dashboards and in your reports. Okay, so let's get ourselves started with this. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to create this bar that's going to be used here to extend itself across the screen. And before I go and create that, now we're going to use PowerPoint, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the color here to make sure that we use the same color so we'll use this one here when we go in and create this bar in, in PowerPoint. Okay, so I'm in PowerPoint here and I'm in a blank presentation. So we're going to go to design, we're going to go to slide size, and then we're going to go to custom slide size. And I'm going to select the banner. And then ensure fit is fine. And then we're going to go and insert a new shape. And that shape is going to be the shape of our bar. I'm going to go and change the dimensions of that shape and we're going to start off with the size and I'm going to make it a half a centimetre. I found that works fairly well for this but you will need to play about with these sizes depending on how it is you're going to use it. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. The next thing we need to do is change the colour here. So select the shape again and let's go to solid fill, more colours and we're going to just paste that colour in that we copied from the Power BI report. All the C's so it's easy to recognise. And then we're going to go to line and I want to get rid of this blue line around the side so no line. Okay, so that is us got our colour. So I'm just going to go and change the size of this or change how, zoom out basically. And then I'm going to move this off the screen. Okay, so you might need to zoom out a little bit more just to give us a little bit of extra space. Here we go. So it's off at the side here. And I'm going to create an animation that's going to bring it onto the screen. So to do that, I'm going to go to animation. And we can use any of these custom animations, but the one I'm going to show you here is this one here, a motion path and a line, because I think that's going to give you the most options for creating different types of animations. So I'm going to click on here and we'll leave it to do its thing. Okay, so you can see now we've got two, two parts to this. We've got a green and we've got a red. Now the green is the starting point, which we've anchored here. And I'm going to move the finishing point off to here. Okay, so we've got the starting point and then the finishing point and we've got that auto there. So if I now go into presentation mode, we can see that's come across the screen. Okay, now you can play about with these, how fast it comes across the screen um, and some of the other kind of animations. And, you know, I'm not, I've not got time to go into that in a lot of detail just now, but any animations that you create can be turned into uh, an animated GIF. So this one's nice and simple for just now. Okay, so we're going to export this as an animated GIF. Now, one thing I will say is that this will be the size of the the kind of object that's exported, the size of this banner here. Now, if you go to slide size and custom size, this banner here is the smallest height that's available within PowerPoint. So there must be some type of, if I try and make this smaller, it's not possible. So I thought it's simple. If you've got a requirement to create something that is a little bit smaller, then you may need to use a different tool. So let's go to file. And then we'll go to export and then we're going to create an animated GIF. Now I like to use the one that's large and 24 frames per second. 
and we're going to make the background transparent. Okay, so that's important here to make that background transparent. So we've got a white background in a PowerPoint slide, but when we put it onto our Power BI um, report, the background there is grey. Okay, so we want it to be um, transparent. Speed is one second, we'll leave that for just now in just a one slide. So let's go and create this. Okay, so next we are going to use a tool to go and make some changes to the animated GIF, just some simple ones. So I'm going to use this tool here. It's a free tool called Lunapic, and it looks like it's a fairly comprehensive editor here for images, animated GIFs and videos. But we're just going to use a small part of this functionality here to, um, to make a couple of modifications to this particular one. So let's go and upload it. So we choose Upload, and it's going to bring us to this quick upload screen, and we're just going to go and choose the file. Okay, so here's our animated GIF. Now, you can see straight away that we've got this transparent background here, which is great. The next obvious thing is that we've got this on an infinite loop, and it's going to just continue to come across the screen and across the screen, so we don't want that. So we're going to go into Animation and Edit GIF Animation. And we've got a couple of options here we can play with. One is the speed, so how fast this comes across the screen. And the second is this looping option here. So I want to go and make this... Um, 10 and loop forever I want to change this to be a one-time loop and then we'll apply that okay so that's maybe a little bit too slow so let's go and change this to 5 and make it a one-time loop that's a bit better okay perfect that's going to be what we're going to use so at the top here we can see the current um, animation speed is set for 5 milliseconds with one loop so we're going to go and download that so that's going to be our first one that's going to be used for the the, the, the set of three of these bars. So the next thing we want to do is we want to put a delay at the start of the second one, okay, because so we want the first one to come along and as the first one's starting, you want, we want a little bit of a delay then the second one and then a little bit of delay between the second one and the third one. So we want to get that effect. So to do this, what we're going to do is click on this option here for frame timing. And here's each of our frames and the, the number in hundreds of a second between each of the frames. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and put the first one at 100. Okay, so that's going to be a, a one second delay because hundreds of a second. In fact, let's make it slightly bigger. Let's make it 120. And, um, and we'll just go to the bottom here and we just need to make sure that we put this loop to one and then we'll apply that. Okay, so we can see there's a slight delay there. And we're going to go and download that. And then I'm going to go back into Edit Animation edit GIF animation and then we're going to go to frame timing and I'm going to change this to 240 change that to 1 and then apply okay so we can see there's a little bit of a delay there so it's maybe too much but we'll leave it like that for just now and we'll download that so we've got three of these files now downloaded okay so I'm back in Power BI now the the visual we're going to use to show the animated GIF, GIF and to render it on the screen is actually a line chart so let's add a line chart in here. And first of all, we need to add a, a column here or an X axis. Now it doesn't really matter what it is, we're gonna add in just anything, just allow us to then add, open up the, the format options to add the, the plot area. So before we go and do that, I'm just gonna go in and tidy this up. So I want to get rid of the X axis, get rid of the Y axis, get rid of the titles in each one of these. And then we'll go into general and I want to get rid of the title at the top of the page here. Go to effects and I want to get rid of the background. Okay, so that's just tidied it all up. And then we're going to go into format options. And we're going to go right to the bottom here, plot area background. And this is where we're going to add in this animated GIF. Okay, so we can see that's been animated. It's quite fast, but um, that's fine. So then we're going to just go and resize it down. Now we can see it's got a minimum size here. So what we need to do is go to image fit and say fill. Okay, now that's going to be give us a little bit more space here. And we can see that because we've actually, this is only part of the actual GIF. Remember we've got the, the other parts of this GIF because we couldn't reduce the, the size of the actual PowerPoint slide. But that's fine. And then let's just add that up into here. And position it next to here. So I'm going to just copy this one here so we've got the same dimensions and we'll add that in there. So now copy and paste this one here and I'll just add it at the bottom there. And again we just need to make sure that we align them and they all 
kind of lined up. Okay, so then I'm going to go into each one of these and I'm just going to go and change the plot area to be the other animated GIFs that we actually exported. And then we're going to publish it up to the Power BI service. So now you can see when this page refreshes, we can see that these lines present themselves across the screen. It just draws your eye to that particular section. Okay, so hopefully you found this useful. Hopefully you've got some ideas about how you might want to add some motion to your reports to make it look like it's been built up and give it a little bit of extra pizzazz, but most importantly to strategically use some motion to draw somebody's eye to a particular aspect or area of the report when they first load it up. So. As usual, if you found this video useful, it's always very helpful and much appreciated if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos, I tend to release one every week, then hit the subscribe button and you'll get a notification whenever I release a new video. Thanks again for watching and I will talk to you in the next video.